A Tesla robo-taxi has been spotted in America. Now, very clearly, this is a Tesla robo-taxi for one very good reason. We know what this vehicle was, even though Tesla haven't outright gone and said, yes, this is a robo-taxi. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Now, thank you to the support of you guys um, helping the channel. I really do appreciate it. Um, Patreon members, thank you so much. And also our YouTube members. By the way, you do get access to some of our videos a few days in advance by becoming a YouTube member. And it also, of course, supports the channel. Tesla Model 3 RoboTaxi. Now you can clearly see in place of the side mirrors, there are no side mirrors on this vehicle. It only has cameras, a little digital cameras enabling the car or the autonomous software to actually see. Elon Musk actually said yesterday that Tesla's newest software update would allow five to 10 times less interventions. Now, interventions are actually very rare now with Tesla's full self-driving. It has improved you know, pretty significantly, which is really nice. Uh, a lot of drivers have noticed that improvement and have talked about it. Tesla was getting criticized a lot less for its full self-driving. Uh, in fact, China has said, wow, it's really good. We think you should, um, well, we agree to letting Tesla use it in China. So that's happening in China. Apparently, Tesla is considering building robo-taxis with Beidou, and they apparently Beidou want to deploy those on Chinese roads this year or well, the next few months. That's great news for Tesla, great news for um, anyone wanting to get around. It would be much cheaper to actually... Actually, this is one point we should talk about. Apparently, it's going to bring down the cost of taxis or bring down the cost of travel by about 90%. So right now, a lot of the reason I have avoided getting taxis often, and I'll often walk, I'll ride my bike, I'll ride my electric skateboard or, or something, is they're so expensive. In Australia, they're very, very expensive. Ride hailing is extremely expensive. That's one of the big benefits of autonomous vehicles. They're going to bring the cost of ride hailing down enormously. A lot of people say it's going to come down to be 10%, 10% of what it is today, or even less potentially. I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon, but eventually it will. Tesla Model 3 test vehicle, clearly a robo taxi was recently spotted in Palo Alto, California with a very interesting setup. You can see the Model 3 has been stripped of its side mirrors and it has cameras instead. Images of this Model 3 RoboTaxi was shared on social media platform X by a Nick Cruz Patane or Patani Patane, not sure. The re-engineered Model 3 was unmistakable. You can clearly see what's going on here, what Tesla is planning on doing, was there a driver in the car? Well, yes, there was. Tesla has not been. They don't have any kind of registration to be able to drive these without having a driver in the car yet. Tesla has, though, listed a bunch of jobs, guys. So if you want a job, if you want a job driving around, you can get a job. So that's what these this guy is doing now. Tesla recently, about, about six weeks ago, they listed a bunch of jobs in 20 different states in the US to drive these particular cars and to just sit there, essentially, and monitor what's going on. Uh, you need to apparently potentially be ready to intervene if that's necessary. A closer look shows that Tesla is changing the vehicle's cameras on its front fenders as well. So there is one other difference, a difference in the cameras on the front fenders, the camera on the new Model 3's trunk has been raised as well. Two cameras installed on the inside the cabin just behind the driver's seat also. So two cameras inside the cabin just behind the driver's seat. This has resulted in the camera seemingly pointing out the new Model 3's rear windows. Tesla already says that while Tesla has not explained the recently spotted vehicle on social media, um, people are saying, or well, they're speculating that this is a robo-taxi, and I think it's pretty obvious what it is, all these extra cameras and the changes to those cameras on the outside as well. Some Tesla watchers um, speculated the cameras inside the cabin could correspond to the camera placement of a smaller vehicle possibly Tesla's robo-taxi or cyber cab or whatever you want to call it, that they plan on revealing, I believe, in August, on the 8th of the 8th, so the 8th of August. This seems very possible. In fact, it seems extremely likely. Is Tesla's robo-taxi just a Model 3? That's possible too. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has announced that the robo-taxi cyber cab will be unveiled in an event on the 8th of August, 2024. Maybe Tesla's going to unveil the uh, the Roadster as well. They're saying they'll unveil the Roadster in the fourth quarter of this year, but who knows? Maybe they'll do that in the third quarter. It's possible. Tesla is working on robo-taxis 
in China. I think it's really focused on that. There's more than 1.3 billion people in China. Huge market there. But I think the market in the US is bigger because you know Chinese companies are doing a really good job with their autonomous vehicles in, in China, but they don't have any access to the US market. That's the market that I think Tesla should really focus on because ride hailing is still very expensive in the US as well. Not quite as expensive as Australia, but it's very expensive. That's a huge potential market for Tesla to go after. It's worth billions of dollars every year. Thanks for watching.